I'm Dr. Ted, and this is Fracture Friday. For this episode, I have a previous fracture where, believe it or not, the plate bent. Yeah, bent. I've never seen it before, but it did happen. Um, it's actually what's called a 4.5 millimeter large fragment plate, and I've never seen them fail this early and bend in this fashion, but this is what happened, so I thought maybe you'd find it interesting. So this is the AP pre-op um, of the fracture that I presented last week, um, and then the plate bent. So you can see that the fracture has failed. It's bent medially, we call that um, varus, and the plate is basically still in place. The screws have not failed, but the plate bent in what the portion we would call the bridge plate portion because it, it was in that section where there all the combination little pieces of bone were and where there were no screws to hold the fracture. So um, here's the lateral, the same bent plate. So we have lots of options about ways to fix this particular problem. You could do what's called a distal femoral replacing, total knee replacement. Um, I did not opt to do that. I opted to do this, which this is the AP post-operative x-ray. And we took out that bent plate and put in a longer, same size plate, um, a 4.5 millimeter uh, lateral distal femoral plate. It just has a lot more screws to get more stability, hopefully, to keep this from happening again. Um, the lateral shows the same plate and we put in post-operatively, we put a bunch of bone graft in there as well. Um, and uh, to date, she seems to be healing just fine. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. Hi, Dr. Ted. Thanks for sticking around after the video. If you'd like to see some more content from us, please subscribe to the channel and like this video.